But if it's nice to have, we're going to open the top. I'm opening the top, and you can see how many beans are at the end of the half that are coming out that end of the half. And because this half tends to be kind of mean, I'm going to smug these bees down here on this end to say, I am here. Okay. We've got to how we're going to look at this half. Um, they're sure to be doing stuff all in here. And my dear, dear, sweet friends. So Mike Connor, whom some of you may know, and Dan Long built me a half stand for this half. I mean, a frame stand for this half. Mike Connor and Dan Long built this for me so that I could try having something to hold the, the, the frame steady so I could actually show things to you all because that's typically a huge problem in this half. Um, so let's see what we've got here. I'm pretty sure that these frames down at this end are behind the follower board. The follower board is right here. So any any frame going forward is a frame that could be being used by the hive. So we're going to look at it that way. I'm going to push. This is a feeder frame. I'm going to push it forward. And get it out of my way so that I can look at what's in here. And this is an empty frame. An empty frame in this top of our hive looks like this. It has a wedge on it that helps them build a uh, comb, but this is not in the body of the hive. This starting here is what's called the follower board. And this is the last bar in this hive, and I don't know how many bars they're using. Oh, they're using it all the way up to here, wow. Okay, so we'll pull out this first board, this first frame, and see what it looks like and see how our frame rest is going to do. So what I did is I carried this over to the frame rest and put it on the frame rest there. And there, look at that. It's absolutely a perfect way to look at the frame. Let me fix this so you can see better. And we're going to go up close. Now this is a frame being filled with honey. So we're going to go up close so you can actually see it. And I'm going to do this a little differently so that you can see when I take these frames out of the hive. So this is a frame that has honey on it. You can see they're storing honey right there and there's nectar all in there, which is terrific. There are also small hive beetles all in this hive, but the bees are clearly keeping them pretty well under control. So we're gonna pick this frame back up and put it back in the hive. And then we're gonna see what's next. This hive is probably going to swarm this year. One of the problems with a top bar hive, if you're a beekeeper like me, this is the only top bar I have. So I can't make a split because I don't have anything to put the split in. I don't have another top bar hive. And this top bar hive was expensive. It's about 400 something dollars. So I'm not um, anxious to run out and buy another one. And now you can see in this one, again, they're storing honey. They've not got a lot of wax on this bar, but they will. They'll make some more as spring keeps coming. Oh, it's such a fabulous frame rack. I'm so excited about it. Now let's see, this next frame, they just have one little teardrop of wax on it because these are frames that I put in this hive at the very end of the season. But this is how bees start building wax on any frame when it's foundationless. They build teardrops. So here's a teardrop of wax that they've started. They'll build more wax on this frame they just haven't done it yet, but isn't that beautiful? And then, let's see, the next one looks like it has a lot on it. So we're gonna see about it. There's a little small hot beetle, I'm gonna kill him. Now this one is actually heavy with the honey that's on it. Look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? A beautiful, beautiful frame of honey. Gift of these bees. It's so nicely done, their frame. I think that I'm very proud of them for their wax construction and their straight comb building and their use of the frame. It's just beautiful. This is a fine hive of bees. 
very impressed with them. In just a minute, we're going to quit looking at this hive, but I would like to see some brood before we quit. So that's what we're going to do. We're looking till we can see some brood. We're mostly going to see honey on this back end of the hive. They tend to put brood more up at the other end of the hive. And this is all new wax. This was made this year already. There's something out there that they're getting nectar from that's allowing them to build this wax. And um, you can see that there's honey being stored right here. Isn't that beautiful? And uh, I'm gonna look and see if there's any eggs in there before we go on to something else. I had my eyes dilated this morning, so seeing eggs is not so easy, but there aren't any so that I could see. All right, let's look at another one. I'd sure like to see eggs or brood or both. There's something that looks a little bit like wax moth damage in here, but the frame seems to be just fine, despite the fact that it looks like there might be wax moth damage. Now let's look at this one and see what's in these little cells. These cells are being used, these over here are being used for pollen. So you can see different colors of pollen in those cells. I'm going to pull this closer to you and see if I can make sure you can see it. Right here you can see gray and orange. They're storing pollen in those cells. They're storing pollen in these cells. They may use this entire frame for pollen and they have honey up in the corners which bees typically do with frames put honey in the corners and now we're going to pull off the next one we're just doing great with this hive and they are not happy because you can hear them buzzing and buzzing around the end down there because i have come in and disturbed their their comfort but this is important as a beekeeper. We need to find out how, what, how, you know, how's the beginning of the season going for them. What are they doing? Oh, here we go. We needed to see brood. Here it is. Finally, we see brood. Now, just for your edification, the bullet-shaped cells that are right here, see those bullet shapes right there? Those are drones. See how much bigger the honeycomb, um, when I say honeycomb, I mean the wax, that's all up in here. They build that large to both hold the honeycomb, hold honey, and to provide accommodation for drones, which have bigger bodies and they need the space for them. So that's what they're building in those cells. And then this right here is uh, worker brood. So every one of those little light beige cells probably was uh, capped in the last week. And it'll be a while before the worker brood comes out, another two weeks, because it's that young. I'm gonna look down here and see if I see any eggs in the lower part, yes, indeed. All right, let's see if I can get you down lower. Let me lower the legs on this, this stand so we can get right in here and see if you can see that there are eggs in these cells. You have to look really, really carefully to see eggs, but there are not a lot of them, but there are. There's an egg in this cell right there and right there where those workers are. They're trying to protect them. Isn't that just the coolest thing? I'm excited to get to show that to you, that they're actually eggs. I'm gonna raise you back up a little bit more so we can look at the next frame. But that's beautiful. We wanted to see brood and now we're seeing brood so that lets us know that the queen not only is laying eggs, but there's some eggs she's laid for a while back. Right here, this is called a queen cup. Can you see that? Right there, that's a queen cup. And that's potentially going to be a queen cell. And when bees are going to swarm, that's what they put in as a queen cell in order to, to, have, to be a new queen for the hive after the old queen leaves with the swarm. And like I said, we can't do much in the way of checkerboarding or anything like that in this top bar because they're using so many of their frames 
and so we can't space them out like you would if you were checkerboarding a regular hive just because they have really used their frames well let's see i can pick it this way and again beautiful brood on this one just beautiful brood and you can see it so well now this light capped brood is what billy davis would call light biscuit and it means that the brood was just very recently capped like in this last few days and it's got still almost 21 days to go and look how the bees have built themselves a passage when you allow bees to build their own honeycomb they make room for themselves to go where they want to go instead of where the the um, foundation manufacturer has decided they want to go and since the foundation manufacturers never actually held a conversation with the bee how in the world would they know right so okay let's put this one back and we're gonna look at one more and then we're gonna call it a day and leave these girls in peace I'm so thrilled with how they're doing this is a great hive it's doing really well it would be nice on the next one we'll see if we see another queen cell but that will tell us how much the hive is thinking about swarming Look at that frame, full of brood. You couldn't ask for a prettier frame of brood. There's larva right in here. You can see fat old larva right in there. There are eggs in these cells, I think. And there's more fat larva in there and all out there, fat larva. Just, the queen has gone to town. If we were gonna see her, this would be a frame we might see her on. So everybody look. I don't see her on this side. That doesn't mean she's not here. See if I see her on this side. Right off the bat, I don't, but like I said, I had my eyes dilated today. It was not a good day for me to see anything. So we're gonna put this back and say, yay, we have a good queen. Yay, this hive is doing great. And we're gonna call it a day. And I'm so grateful to Mike and Dan for what a lovely present. I can't believe they made this for me. It's the sweetest thing ever anybody's done. It's just a gift to, to it just it just is an amazing gift I, I couldn't be happier it was so sweet of them it's because i sat at the metro atlanta beekeeper meeting that i have a hard time because my hands shake and it makes it really hard to just look at a frame and i wish there were a frame holder for the top bar hive and lo and behold one shows up in the mail i couldn't believe it so exciting and such a dear sweet thing to do okay so now what i'm gonna do and i'll let you all watch is i'm pushing all the frames back together because you want them as tight as you can get them because this is the roof of this hive this this part right here so we want to get the frames back good and tight so that they are insulating the hive and keeping the bees safe and it sometimes is a challenge but because these bees are so excited about their area up there they're not uh, as many crawling up between the frames as there sometimes are but oh my gosh that is just perfect that uh, that that stand is just great so i am going to just to give because this hive is doing so well i'm going to go ahead and put this last frame into the body of the hive because they're going to need it at the rate that they're going this is going to be a huge hive this year and it has room for several more frames and i have frames for those parts but um and i'll put this one just so i don't have to keep bringing it back and forth I'll put this one in here, but it doesn't change the fact that they can still get into that area where they come out under the hive because of the um, because of the sagging screen bottom board. Wow, what a different kind of inspection this was today. It's so very nice to have a good frame rack. And I'm gonna make sure you all look in this corner and watch the bees coming in. And you should be able to see all the bees with pollen on their legs. Here's a bee with pollen on her legs. There are two of them together and they have a sort of a beige green pollen going on and there are a lot of bees coming in with pollen to feed all of that brood and to store in that frame we saw now we will leave this piece right here on top of the top bar hive it's my only top bar hive so it can stay here protected by the cover and be here for the next time I come ready to, to look at my bees so that was great thank you all for joining me for the top bar hive